we come to a new topic called inductance okay inductance is a word that is very very widely used in in electrical engineering and is one of the most misunderstood terms you you'll ever come across right <coughs> now let us say let us say i have i have a coil that stands here right i have a coil that that stands here like this i'm not able to draw it okay so so it is being fed by some current through some circuit say okay there is another coil here which which may be perhaps may be facing facing some other direction not necessarily the same this is also being fed by by some some circuit okay there could be some other there could be this coil here kind of facing like that which is also being fed by by its own its own power source okay fine now what happens it will seem as if as if why why do we want to indulge in this but but believe me whenever you go to any even smallest of the circuits you will have these circuits in your vicinity for example even even in your house hmm there's your charger there is your there's your heating element there's your geyser okay they are acting as sources which will otherwise otherwise be linked by one another through the flux they produce so what happens maybe the flux that this produces this circuit is producing this links this circuit you understand so maybe maybe somehow the okay the the field produced by this circuit links this okay it it can it does field produced by this the the field it links this so so what happens this circuit has has a flux linked with it you see that it has got a flux linked with it now what happens if they are varying fields okay which is very natural in case of acs what happens due to the due to the field variation here due to which there is a flux linked here you will have induced emf in this circuit even when this circuit is not being fed by any current at all <coughs> okay yeah. so maybe you are working on this circuit you have switched switched off this circuit and still you will get a shock and that shock is due to the other circuits in the vicinity only if they are, they are closed or not you are not you are not aware no it should why why does it need to be closed even when it is open you have you have switched it off because across the ends there is an emf so if you catch hold of that it will give you a shock hmm it will give you a shock now we feel fine we are not going to encounter this let me give you an example in railways you have got these overhead wires right this is this is one of the lines over which there is a wire okay so this is a line over which i have a wire and running this is another line over which i have another wire running right now what happens 
and they are heavy current circuits okay so what happens they are 25000 25 kV 25000 volt circuits and due to current in this circuit what happens you need to repair this line fine so what happens you switch it off and your person goes overhead and he touches it and he dies then and there why due to the induced EMF from this circuit it is so huge